Pietro is busy packing in. And the, and the noise that you hear from the farm is Pietro is waiting for, for the airline because uh, apparently a flight was postponed or something delayed by 12 hours. And there goes Pietro <laughs> on his little aeroplane. So from now on, it will be just be me and Sisu. We are two crazies from South Africa. That's Frick and Pietro. We decided to chuck it all and we are now living and sailing full time on our new home, Sisu. Oh man, what a night. <laughs> uh, a a non-event for me. The night itself, the sleep part. I was anchored over there. I'm not sure you guys can see, but there's a lot of rain going on as well. And then my my chain got caught up in the rocks. I was keep on. I couldn't keep Sisu in one place. The current was getting too strong, or the wind was getting too strong. I don't know. The bottom line is, Sisu drifted over rocks again. It was quite deep. It's about four meters deep, but below this, there's some sharp, pointy rocks, and the chain got caught into that. It's about there. And Sisu was also also basically sailing against the wind because the wind is coming now from from 120 on a port side. The current is coming from the front. So when Sisu turns, Sisu starts to swim or sail against the wind. But yeah, so this is now night vision, and you guys cannot even see that. But hey, two places. So first I had to, I saw this between a bridle and a, and a chain locker and it was, but it was actually more, so I had to leave because the current, the moment the current stops and with that strong wind, the moment the current stops, all the boats will swing. Okay, the battery died. <laughs> yeah, it is, it is raining a, a lot. And I'm sure this anchor of a couple of boats here too. If the wind is pushing all other boats and I have their full 20 meters or whatever chain length scope, then mine is now reduced to basically five meters because that's where I got stuck. So I, I, they were swinging to me and there was a lightning storm approaching. So I had to move <laughs> in that strong current alone, in the dark, in the rain, in the wind and there's a couple of uh, sandbars and reefs that was supposed to protect me from all the swells and things like that suddenly became my enemy enemy number one two three four and five and six uh, uh, there was so many and then i came here <laughs> so the problem of this one is this is the entrance to the cat so the ocean swells and the wind is now coming that way so the ocean swells is busy coming in i'm now here i tried to sleep and one power boat came past and woke me up and poor topics just was swinging this way that way like crazy because of the side the swells are sitting from that the wakes from the boat Ugh. so i think i i will wait out the rain this time and then maybe go look for another anchorage i'm waiting for someone so there's not many anchorages i can go to around here that's protected from the southern wind so it looks like the wind died down and maybe there will be a wind shift because we are all pointing not in a direction where we pointed in last night so i'll check the weather and then lift it anchor again. <laughs> it's 
so many times I've left that bank and done it, but if last 20 yes, yeah, since since Pietro left. Behind Pietro with when Pietro left, one, then one there, and then last night or this morning three o'clock another one. So we will have now another one. Now four anch anchor lifts and anchor drops without Pietro in <laughs> 24 hours. <laughs> Take that, Frick. <laughs> you wanted to exercise this? You've got it. <laughs> Just like. So our, our South African flag is in tatters. And it this is this these flags they only last maybe two months, four months if we sailing every day. The Pietro decided to try something new. So these are actually two flags <laughs> stitched to sombrella. So I think you can see some of the sombrella here. So in the middle is umbrella and then she also stitch it like that, like that. So let's see how long this one lasts. It doesn't hang properly, but it will it will do the thing. <laughs> it will at least show our nationality on the boat. And that's a brand new flag. That's the one with the sombrella in between. <laughs> this is what is left of the previous South African flag. <laughs> okay, six months later, <laughs> it didn't work. Um, okay, this one did survive hurricane. Actually, at that stage, tropical storm Felipe that went over us while we had anchor. Um, and also the thorny path twice. But uh, even the umbrella. Is it's just like getting completely ripped. Um, yep, so we need to find another way of trying to get these these flags to last. It is pretty miserable. If you can look here, it's raining the whole time. It's a beautiful setting. If you look oh, my camera is getting wet couple of islands and somewhere over there is Daniel Key and that's the the cut <laughs> so I'm actually right in front of the cut you can see the currents over there is crazy um, but yeah this is my setting and I'm having a nice braai and I had to put the cherry rig this the sail up because it is raining and it's dripping all over the show. Yeah, so this is my Sunday afternoon. I'm all alone here. Pietra is gone. She's gone to South Africa and to visit her mom. And yeah, it's getting quiet now, but it was earlier today, lightning strikes and thunder and rain it is actually raining already now for three days constant i had to start the engines this morning <laughs> but yeah i'm happy i'm having a braai it's not good lightning strikes all around us <laughs> and it is raining every now and then wind is already 29 knots every now and then like big gusts coming through and we just had the lightning strike on that island and the lightning strike on this island and over there you can see that tank which over there is raining heavily This is where we are. There was a lightning strike in this bay. 
uh, lightning strike on that mountain where the other anchor oh this is where the other anchorage is that I just showed you on that island twice here's Daniel Key so in front oh in front of Daniel Key there's a lightning strike it is all over <laughs> and it's not over yet it's coming Ugh. Lagoon behind the Scotty in front. They just re anchored now. Oh, they're actually still busy. You can see the anchor is still dangling there. And you can see it's that, and that's the same cat that was next to me the other time when, when I was worried that he will get too close to me. Looks like a modern anchor. And in that, Leopard 46 seems like there is also trouble. Not, I was first thinking I'm busy washing the boat. But something's up there. And we have lightning strikes. Like, I think we lost our hard drives. Uh, so I unplugged some of our stuff, put stuff into the safe. There's a lot of lightning strikes. Those guys over there, they got a couple of lightning strikes in that bay and also that island that's just behind them there down. I would say around where that little house is. They had a couple of lightning strikes right there. They are okay. Yeah, they're still there. Wonder what they're doing. Let's hope they just wash the boat. And that guy is still struggling with his anchor. I think it's the bridle is on, so I think he's good. I think he managed to set the the anchor and attach the bridle. It's not nice, I've been there. Oh, all of the guys are gone now. Anchor bridle looks good again. I'm also catching some <laughs> fresh rainwater for stuff like I think we can maybe Ooh, can I get zoomed into that? No. Nope. Yeah, so for washing and for plants, you know, these plants are very hungry or thirsty and just general washing stuff inside the boat. So I don't need to use the water maker. So you may wonder why Tepix is like this. Oh, and everyone is asking us what happened to Tepix? <laughs> The covers. Well, the dinghy chaps, this is our second little tender. So the first tender was a little bit bigger and Peter still need to readjust the covers or she's even thinking of making new ones. So this is the second Tipex. But the reason why Tipex is tilted like this is that you see there's a drain now. So I even unplugged, there's a drain plugged right over there. So this dinghy can get full of water so quickly and that will put stress onto your, onto your shackles and your blocks and you know all of these things here so you and even that little thin dynamo line and little small block so be aware when it's raining your dinghy will get full of water and if you didn't take out your drain plaque it will get full of water and that is a lot of weight. 
<laughs> I just talked about those boats. Look. That little island, the little house I was talking is right around there. Lightning strike right on those boats. Oh wow. And this is Pick Beach. Pick Beach is over here. So that island also got lightning strike. That's where I am. Here's a little small island 400 meters from me. It's not charted yet. Um, 400 meters, that was my closest lightning strike. And that's Daniel Key. And look. <laughs> oh. It's not a good day for boats or anyone living on a boat. It's not a good day at all. Just to give you an idea, so just behind here is Pig Beach. Just behind here. So this is a big island that got struck by lightning. And here's those boats. Oh, I can see them now much better. So the lightning strike was between that island and that boat over there. And I don't see an anchor light on that boat, but Mono is normally switch off the anchor lights. So the lightning strike was between that boat and that island right there. Huh. So my, my strike was on this side of the island and well, that little island, that piece of rock there got struck by lightning. A little smooth. Shoo, I can smell it. <laughs> it's like, oh my goodness. Yeah, and this is where we are lying. So it's like right in front of us. Man, this is not nice. Okay guys, I was looking at the weather and I'm somewhere anchored there. <laughs> I can show you exactly where, but I'm sure you guys will not even. So here's Daniel Key, the runway. We are right there. One of the reasons why I cannot take a drone footage, but anyway. Um, so I want to come and anchor here because the wind is going to change tonight more in this direction. So when the wind is start coming into the anchorage, which is right here in front, that's the cat. Then it's going to come unpleasant and it's just going to be more and more and more like this. We already have a headwind of about 10 to 12 knots um, it's going to be my f my solo anchorage and first time I'm going to film it so <laughs> I'm still very super nervous very nervous um, I'm going to set this up and hopefully by then the tide will be kind of like neutral so I will only have the wind, but there is a tide and a tide turns quite fast and uh, so yeah, let's, let's get started. I'm going to see where I can put you guys up. 